Hey guys, I'm Adrian. In this video, we're going to talk about painting a fireplace from the 1980s. So we, we bought this house um, from 1986 and it, it was, it's been a huge amount of work. A lot of it we had to do ourselves because everything's so expensive right now. So the fireplace, as you can see here, it's very ugly. We had a, you know, thought of maybe taking it down and then putting some drywall up, but we decided um, to paint it. So we looked at doing kind of a chalk paint, but we ended up going with just a um, a gloss white paint. So the first step, obviously, is to tape it. So we taped it real good. Then we used an oil-based primer. So the oil based primer will cover anything, you know, if there's any uh, varnish on the rocks themselves so that you can paint latex on it. Okay, so that's primed. So probably 99.5% of all the stone has been covered with primer. Um, it, I didn't go for 100%. Obviously on the paint I'm going to go for 100%, but it already looks dramatically different and it's irreversible at this point. But uh, it completely brightens the room up. And so I'm going to be using a semi-gloss uh, ultra white from Valspar. And I'm going to be a little more careful this time. But my strategy is to go through all the cracks. And then I'm going to use a roller on the flat surfaces, see where we're at, and then a brush. And the whole while I'm going to be really looking for drips. So in about an hour I'm going to uh, find any drips I can on there and just sand those off because you have to use so much primer to prime this. I went through three big brushes and two little ones and I, uh, the best way as you'll see if you do it because the only way is just to really fill it up and just bam 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 and just mushing it everywhere. But so far I'm happy about it. We, we put Once we got that done we moved to a glossy white paint and I use gloss just to you know to make it stand out and so we did the gloss that worked pretty well so all told it took about i don't know 18 man hours to do this which was three of us working for about six hours doesn't seem like it would but just the amount of touch up was ridiculous um, so basically i would just i would do it and then we just go at every angle shining to cover any possible um, holes that you could still see. Okay, so this is our final product. What I like about it is you, uh, with the white, you can decorate it really well for every season. So this is sort of the end of our Christmas season. But uh, once you get stuff up there, you know, it doesn't look as bad as far as looking like an igloo. So, uh, we're really happy with it and it was a cheap, easy way to do it. So we just put some, like a new grill down there and uh, some fake or some wood in there.